Welcome to today's podcast show. I'm your host, Robin Seville, and uh, I always start out this way by saying how excited I am to be sitting down with my guest, and, and it couldn't be more true than it is this time. I have the honor to be with Joe Muscolino of the Joe Muscolino Band. Joe, welcome to the program today. Uh, thanks, Robin. My pleasure to be well, with you. Obviously, by me saying the Joe Muscolino Band, that kind of describes where what we're going to be talking about today. But first, you hail from uh, New Jersey, right? Yes, that's true. Yeah. I, I came out here quite a while ago uh, to go to school. I was uh, came, there was a really hot jazz program at the University of Utah. I moved to Westminster College the year I came out. And I've stayed ever since. And I love being ever here. Since. And, yeah. and, and I've been to many weddings that uh, you've been at and your band has been at. And it just makes such a huge difference. And you've really established yourself as, without doubt, one of the premier bands in Utah. For, I imagine well, for corporate you. events, certainly for weddings certainly. as well. Too. Well, let's talk a little bit about that. When a bride is looking to have great entertainment at her wedding, a band absolutely must make all the difference I imagine right I really think there's nothing like a live band having that you know uh, that interaction of, of live music uh, it, you know uh, we usually can uh, really make it a great party a lot of the bigger weddings will use a 10-piece band uh, some of the smaller one and uh, you know a, a five piece even if they want you know just more of a background thing even sometimes we'll go smaller than that even three or four but generally I like to use uh, six people uh, you know uh, or five people, the smallest I go. Yeah. Now, what are some of the key instruments you usually bring in part of the band? Well, I like to have... I've seen the sax, I've seen the flute. Yeah. Those are big, right? Yeah, I, I like <laughs> to play those. We always have keyboard, bass, drums, sometimes guitar, sometimes a horn section. I, I feel pretty strongly about having two singers up front, just singing and communicating with the, the, the crowd. Uh, they're the entertainers. They get the crowd going. A female and a male vocalist, they sing a lot of duets. We get a big vocal sound. Some of the other people sing as well. We like to get a, you know, that big vocal thing going and uh, we usually start out you know doing more of a you know a, a jazz thing at the uh, during dinner but then we you know launch into uh, dance music and really uh, get everybody engaged and, and make it a party how long before the, the wedding should a bride be be getting in touch with you well you know I, as soon as possible some people uh, contact us you know a year plus in advance wow. some people sometimes I've gotten called a, a week or so in advance I try to accommodate anybody mm -hmm. regardless but I think particularly if you're in the uh, summer months which is the heavy wedding season May through September uh, the sooner the better just for availability yeah. you know so yeah, we you can book up. Uh, get the you know get the players and uh, and some people, they give you a lot of input. They have a lot of ideas what they want to do, and some uh, not so much. You know, mm. it just depends on, uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of a planner. I, I would say generally if you use a, you know, a good venue uh, with experienced uh, wedding people, some people use a, a wedding coordinator, some people use uh, the coordinator that's there, and get a good photo uh, photographer, videographer, florist, uh, you know, uh, Band, you know, you could just uh, it yeah, works out well. Really makes it, makes yeah, the and we work. Great. We see a lot of the same people, the top vendors, uh, again and again, and you know, we all yeah. work together and uh, yeah. you know, as a as a team, I think, and make it go smoothly. Well, is there a, cer a certain type of? I, I know there's. I'm sure there's plenty of variety. But uh, is there an overall certain type of music that brides tend to like to have at the, re at, the, uh, uh, at the event? It varies. Most weddings, they start out with maybe a cocktail hour or, you know, or greeting, you know, period, followed by a dinner. And then, you know, you don't want dance music for that. You want more listening music. It could be jazz, uh, whatever, you know, uh, or pop. But then they usually want some period where everybody dances. Everybody comes out and dances and, and has a great time. So uh, I think... That is the general format. It starts out pretty mellow, then it you know, works into a, a, a party, party where everybody's dancing. And you really kind of, once that party starts, you guys kind of really almost direct that in a lot of ways, Yeah, don't we you? kick it into high gear. I think uh, just doing this for years and years, you find uh, that certain tunes and certain combinations work very well as far as engaging the crowd, you know. And I almost view it uh, almost like a boxer, certain combinations of punches or tunes to engage everybody. and. Uh, I kind of like to, I think some bands might have like a song list that, you know, for the night, but I kind of like to just kind of feel out the crowd yeah, and see what going. they res respond to and just kind of call audibles, you know, like a football player would, mm. you know, kind of just, you know, just see which way it goes and just try to keep that dance floor full the entire night once we get going. And uh, the, the fun thing is, uh, you know, over the years we've worked with families where we just do countless, you know, all 
you know, they're, uh, you know, all the girls in the family. I've done four or five weddings for, you know, sisters in a, one family, their cousins. Uh, you know, so you get to know some of these families over the courses of the years. We've just done a lot of work for them. And, and that speaks highly. They're bringing and, you back. Yeah, and that's yeah. that's nice. And then you get to know the family as well. And I, I feel myself fortunate to be that uh, part of an important day in their lives, a, a wedding, and make sure that they know that if, if we're there, we'll make it a great time for everybody. So ultimately what you want from me is you want all your family and friends and guests to be calling you after the wedding and say, hey, that's the best party I've ever been to. And, uh, you know, that's what we try to do for everybody. And many people, you know, call me up and say, oh, you played at my friend's wedding and oh, we had such a great time. Please play it. You know, it, it's just they experience it firsthand. And I imagine you get some thank you cards in the mail. Yeah, we, we do. We, we do get a lot of nice uh, testimonials mm -hmm. and thank yous for what we do. And, uh, you know, I, I just feel really fortunate. Uh, I really do uh, enjoy playing weddings. We get a lot of work from uh, different vendors, different reception centers, and you know I always appreciate that Bright Access always funnels a lot of good mm -hmm. referrals to mm -hmm. us. I, I think anybody in the state is probably going to check out Bright Access and then be exposed to us, and then I feel like uh, that th they would at least make an inquiry to me, and yeah. I can you know uh, uh, you know uh, talk to them and see if we're a good fit. And yeah, sure. Usually we are, you know. Yeah, so yeah, I think yeah, it's absolutely. been a worthwhile association yeah, for both of us. Well, well Joe. Thank you for coming on the program Pleasure, today. Roman. Again, they can find you through your website, or they can go to brightaccess.com, where, where there are links that take them right to your website. Right. Uh -huh. And you have music there. In fact, some of the uh -huh. music that we're listening to today while we're talking is music from your band. Yeah, we just were in the studio a couple days ago. Uh, we usually go in in January to record you know, some of the tunes we added the previous year that have been big hits been for us that, that I think the, you know, uh, people would enjoy hearing on our, our website. We have like a jukebox feature where you can just hear uh, a lot of the So they can see samples and get ideas for, sure. their, for their own event. Sure. Joe, thank you again so much for coming on the Bright Access program today. Thank you, sir. And happy wedding season. Here we go again. Yeah, it's, here we uh, go. It's here, here we go. Here You're we listening go. to brightaccess.com. Yeah.